I you mean, why not? I mean, if it makes sense, if the money's there. But more, he told me in the ring, he said he was done. So, you know, so I mean. Um, but he told you he's done? Yeah, he told me that in the ring. So, but he said he just might just be done. So, I mean, if they want to ring it back around, <laughs> it is what it is. Make sure y'all got that check ready. And, and, and we'll make sure to do it again. Andre, uh, you fought Floyd Mayweather before this fight. Mm -hmm. Does being in the ring with someone that fast make, yeah. make someone like Victor or any future opponent look easier to deal with their speed in the ring, having been in with Floyd? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, um, you know, as you guys can see tonight, like I had, you know, tremendous hand speed tonight, um, you know, but fighting a guy like Floyd is, that's, you know, very elusive. Yeah. And, you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, he's very fast as well, um, you know, and very intelligent in the ring. You know, just being in there with a guy like Victor, you see everything. You see a lot of different things, um, you know, that he's not doing. You see a lot of different things that are just completely different. So, so definitely from that fight, I believe I got a lot of, um, I got a lot sharper. Did you watch uh, Chris Algieri over here, Andre? Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Algieri and uh, Earl Spence. Did you watch that fight? Yeah, and, yeah uh, I think. Would you uh, consider fighting Earl Spence Jr.? I mean, like I said, man, you know, Earl Spence, he did his thing. That, um, you know, a few weeks ago, um, you know, but like I told people before, you know, Spence is, is, is that young, is that young line coming out the blocks. You know what I mean? I believe that all of us, you know, we're at that point, you know, we first really got on the scene. Um, I think he really needs to, you know, continue having some more fights like that. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like everybody knows me, you know, I'm willing to fight whoever, whenever. So, so, you know, if it makes sense, you know, later on or whatever the case may be, you know, it is what it is. Andre over here, uh, Virgil even, can you just walk us through that uppercut? I mean, it just seemed like it was perfectly thrown. Yeah. I mean, is that, was that by design? Yeah, you know what, um, you know, my uppercut has always been, you know, like my little staple, I guess, for a while. And, um, and you know, in camp, you know, I was touching a lot of my spawn partners with it. And, you know, guys like Virgil and, you know, our other guys that are, you know what I mean, and him as well, they continue to tell me, like, this, you need to bring that back, because I guess it was in retirement for a while. But, um, but, you know, he just kept leaning in, he kept leaning in, and I heard Virg, and I heard my dad as well, you know, tell me, hey, you know, the cut is there, the cut is there, he leaned right into it. And, like, for me, for some reason, man, I don't know why, you know, when I throw that uppercut, it's, it's, it's you know, I can hit it just right on the head. You know, and it, and it was a perfect shot. It was, you know what I mean? Like I say, he just kept leaning into it, and I seen it coming, and just hit him perfect with it. And I just, uh, you know, at that point, you know, I didn't want to at all just let him off the hook at all. You know, I did that the first fight, and I think that was a mistake of mine. But this time I was ready, I was in shape. All I seen was blood. That's it. And I was not going to let him off the hook the second time. Berto, I talked to Danny right here. Oh. Right in the front. I talked to Danny Garcia yesterday, uh -huh. and he told me he would fight you mm -hmm. or Victor if this fight was impression, it had an impression, a great impression. What do you say to that? Well, well I get it, guys. I mean, I guess he got his, I mean, his impression tonight, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know he was ringside. Yeah, I know he seen those punches. I know he heard those punches. Um, and, and he can see what type of fashion, you know, we finished the, we finished the fight in, so. So, uh, you know, we'll see what he says after. Andre, over here. Um, if not Danny Garcia, what about a rematch with Robert Guerrero? You mentioned you closed one chapter tonight. What about Robert Guerrero? <laughs> I mean, like, it was up to me, man. Um, uh, you know, my pops always used to tell us, you know, respect is, is you know, it's never given, it's always earned. I mean, it was up to me for sure. I just take on anybody that I ever took an L from, but, but you know, right now we're just moving forward, man. I can say we just, uh, and I believe that it's, it's just a lot of great competition out there right now. And for me, I believe anybody, you know, out there can see that you know I match up great with any of them. Because like I said, I bring the speed, I bring the power, I bring the explosiveness, and they know I got, you know, I got the heart. It's the size of this room. And at the same time, like I said, we got Virgil here. That's definitely just. Uh, you know, making sure like boxing IQ is there. So, so like I said, man, for anybody. All right, last one. 
Last question. Andre, uh, the days of boxing have changed since Ray Robinson fought, where they were fighting almost every week. Yeah. You didn't have a lot of action tonight. It looks like you might be ready to fight next week. Yeah, I mean, if I can fight tomorrow, you know, get a couple more rounds, then I'll be good. You know, but, uh, you know, we had like a long training camp, though. We had a, you know, good nine-week camp. I had tremendous sparring partners, man. It was on my ass every day. And, uh, and like, for me right now, you know what I mean, like, it'll just be the fact of really just relaxing from training camp. Um, you know, but just my focus right now, I'm ready to get right back in. So just continue learning, continue, you know, trying to better my game. Good? Everybody good? Everybody good? Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Round of applause for Andre Berto.